Game started. Mark Schwartz. Okay, let's see. How about uh, E4? See what we get. Another Sicilian. And uh, the normal variation here with the open, the open Sicilian with D4. They usually take care. <laughs> okay, there he goes. <laughs> Pretty standard. And then uh, it is uh, more common to play knight to uh, knight to f6 there to attack the e pawn. So this allows me to play the Maroxy bind, and I will because I'm trying to uh, learn how to play the Maroxy bind, not because uh, uh, it's so great necessarily all the time, but I just want to learn learn how to play it. So he can put the bishop here and attack my knight, and. Um, There's no, um, oh, well, there'll just be some trades if he takes the knight. He's not immediately threatening to win something. If he moves his queen to b6, I can move my knight away and hit his queen. The queen to b6, you always got to be worried about that a little bit because it does hit the bishop, or the, the knight here, <coughs> on... Um, Hits the knight on d4, and it also hits the pawn on b2. Okay, so I'm going to play with uh, the pawn to f3. Uh, maybe, uh, I'm not sure about queen d2 right here. Maybe I want to castle kingside, actually, because it seems... Now let's go ahead and try castling queenside. <laughs> I think that's the idea, castling queenside. It just seems a little strange to me to castle on the queenside in this position where I played the c-pawn up here because it has created a lot of open space around my king. But it does get the uh, the rook to the d file in a hurry. My king can go to b1 and be pretty safe. He can now trade. Knight takes, bishop takes, bishop takes, king takes. But instead, what he's doing is he's going for uh, some pressure on the c pawn. Okay, that's adequately defended at the moment, but he might play a move like knight to... Um, let me move my king over. I'm going to put my rook on the c file if I have time. He might play a, rook, a move like uh, knight to a5 here. That increases the pressure on this pawn. And then I would have to play something like um, hmm, b3 to defend it, I guess. But if he puts his queen there, yeah, my plan is to just move the rook to the c-file and play knight to uh, d5. See how this goes. Maybe you're supposed to castle kingside. <laughs> I'll have to look this up later. That's what it is about this opening. I just don't know how to play it quite yet. But I am working on it. As I mentioned in another video, um, in theory, um, black is a little bit cramped. He has a little less space for his pieces. But it seems like there's a, a square for every piece, like the bishop could go to uh, d7 or to e6 even. He's even managed to occupy some of the fourth row. I can think about starting to kick it, kick his knight back with moves like f4. Okay, he's preparing to bring his bishop to um, b7, perhaps. Let's go with the knight. The knight to uh, d5 idea. It's a good square for the knight. And if he kicks it with uh, e6, it creates a weakness on... Um, 
<clears throat> creates a weakness on d6. If he kicks it with e6, it creates a weakness on d6. So that's the idea. Oh, I wasn't even looking. You know, I, I exposed the queens for a queen trade. I, I should have really considered if I uh, actually want a queen trade here. Probably not. <laughs> Probably don't want a queen trade. In fact, um, this wins, right? Ah, terrible play. Yeah, you can just take my queen, bishop takes, and then he takes the knight. Hmm, I have a check, and I can get a pawn back, but that's not, that's not going to be enough compensation. Yeah, well, let's see if he plays that. I mean, he can't believe what I've played, and he's thinking, <laughs> what the heck is going on here? Yeah, so this this rook to c1 plan was not a good idea. Undefended the queen. Hmm. Okay, he's not playing that. He goes for this. Okay, so I need to cover up this diagonal in a hurry. So that that uh, trade is no longer available. So let's go right back like this. A lucky break for me. Now his knight is hanging. Hmm. In fact, oh, you know, I'm missing all kinds of stuff here. I could... No, I can't take his knight. His knight is not hanging, it's defended. Okay. Let's see. He's taken quite a lot of time. Okay, so he does. He's got um, another piece attacking <coughs> my uh, C pawn, so I have to um, hold on to it. Don't want to give that C pawn away. So, um, and I can't play knight takes c6, knight takes c6, queen takes e, d6, because my knight is hanging here. Um, no, it's not hanging. My knight is defended by the rook, okay? I'm not sure about that move. That uh, I mean, it's kind of a logical move to try and bake, break up my queenside pawns, but... Uh, that mm, that pawn is defended by two knights and a bishop, so he's not getting that pawn back, and it forks two pieces. Hmm. Well, I'm I'm just lucky here. Yeah, so he's losing a piece here. Should I take? I should take with this knight because I still don't want to allow the the queen trade here, although it's becoming more attractive now that I'm a piece up <laughs> instead of losing a piece. Oh man. So this game has been kind of a comedy of errors. But now you can see the weakness on uh, d6 I was referring to earlier. This this pawn is not um it's uh, not supported by other pawns if he wants to hold on to it. It's going to he's going to need a piece to defend it with. So he goes for the attack. That's that's logical. He's got that's well enough covered, though. The square is covered by the bishop and the queen. So knight here. Bishop takes. Knight here. Queen takes. And my knight is still covering this square. Bishop takes here. Rook takes. And the queen is still covering that square. So I think I'm just okay here. Mm, I probably want to chase his pieces away. So I don't want to go pawn grabbing. I can grab this pawn anytime. What I want to do is uh, eliminate the attack on my king here somehow. Hey, start by trading off this knight. It's one idea. If I just kick it though, he can go to the square. Um, Okay, so I'm going to play um, h3 to control the g4 square, and then I'm going to play f4 to kick the knight.
Ah, oh, he's kicking my knight. Yeah, that makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. Okay, just dropping back. You can use this uh, a pawn as a battering ram to try and disrupt the uh, structure around my king. So the worst, I mean, the, the storm is not yet over. <laughs> Things can still go wrong from here. But, uh, well, Mark Schwartz is starting to use up time here. I think um, 1400 is the rating you're assigned when you uh, first join. So you might be uh, a new player here. Okay, um, here, I want to uh, connect my rooks so that I could play a move like knight to um, knight to a4. And if he takes rooks, I can bring... If he exchanges rooks, then I can bring a rook over to uh, c1 there. Okay, ah, so he doesn't even uh, require me to chase. So I, I want to trade stuff, so I'm happy to uh, I'm happy to get rid of that knight. Exchange off that knight. Okay, now I want to play knight a4 to open up the c file. It once again opens up this diagonal, so I have to be careful of tempo moves of his knight. But in this case, uh, when he moves his knight, I can take the queen as long as it's not with check. So I think I'm safe here. If he defends his rook, I'm going to trade rooks and bring another rook to uh, another rook to c1. And eventually, when enough force has left the board, my extra piece will uh, will win the end game for me. <laughs> Aha, uh -huh. so he defended his knight instead of defending the rook. So now, when I take the rook, he has to take back with the knight. And when he takes back with the knight, I can take his queen. He takes back with the knight. Aha, uh -huh. well, that is not going to work because... And, well, let's check. Maybe it is going to work. I have to worry about a mate. So I want to play queen takes queen. But I'm, I don't have to because my queen is defended, but I want to because that would win if it works. So queen takes queen, rook takes pawn, check. King takes knight, rook here, check. Oh, the knight's guarding that square. Yeah, I can just take the queen. There is no mate. Sometimes, check. you know, there's these funny mates with just uh, uh, minor pieces. He's got like a rook, a knight, and check. a bishop, but... Uh, Everything was defended. <laughs> so uh, he can resign any time now. Black resigns. Okay, yeah, the comment here says this was his first Blitz game. So, um, yeah, just learning how to play Blitz. Okay, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'm going to do a postmortem. See you guys later. Bye.